Ethereum made them rich. Winklevoss Brothers are holding. Winklevoss Brothers made millions by investing in Ethereum. The money they got by suing Facebook was multiplied multiple times by the cryptocurrencies like Ethereum. Ethereum has filled the siblings' pockets with millions. Today's video was going to be about how the renowned Winklevoss brothers made millions by investing in Ethereum. Welcome back to Ethereum News. Here you will find the latest news about Ethereum. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated with the latest information, price predictions, and news about Ethereum. Thanks again for watching and enjoy this video. The live Ethereum price today is $4,671.47 USD, with a 24-hour trading volume of 24,061,777,961 USD. We update our ETH to USD price in real time. Ethereum is up 7.6% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is 2, with a live market cap of 553,800,285,774 USD. It has a circulating supply of 118,549,438 ETH coins. But after seeing its growth, people launched a lot of coins in the competition and tried to overtake it. But Ethereum is about to launch an upgraded version of it with so many extra benefits for the users, so it is going to be huge. A lot of analysts believe that the recent rally of Ethereum is just a way stop in the path of becoming the greatest cryptocurrency ever and achieving its 10,000, apparently in the end of the beginning of the next year. One more bullish signal for ETH is the big amount of active addresses that it gets daily, which continues to reach new heights, predicting that more people are either purchasing Ether or bringing it in use to transact. Besides endorsements and support from the celebrities and analysts, there are other reasons also for the growth of Ethereum, including the amount of fees paid, as the network settles 30.5 billion of value each day, more than Bitcoin and the 2.5 billion settled by PayPal daily. While Bitcoin is viewed as a digital store of value, Ethereum generates huge earnings every day. The typical cost of transacting on the Ethereum network is just shy of $50, heightened by the network's inability to process large volumes of transactions. It currently does 1.3 million transactions a day. This has unlocked the entrance for the rise of so-called Ethereum killers, like Polkadot, Solana, and Cardano, all of which are planned to overcome the cost and congestion issues facing Ethereum. But Ethereum has found solutions to all those problems and going to solve them in Ethereum 2.0. Today's video is going to be about how Ethereum helped the Winklevoss brothers to win a fortune. So without wasting any time, let's start the video right away. Cameron Howard Winklevoss, born August 21, 1981, is an American cryptocurrency and Bitcoin investor, Olympic rower, entrepreneur, and founder of Winklevoss Capital Management and Gemini Cryptocurrency Exchange. He competed in the men's pair rowing event at the 2008 Summer Olympics with his identical twin brother and rowing partner, Tyle Winklevoss. Winklevoss and his brother are known for co-founding Harvard Connection, later renamed ConnectU along with Harvard classmate Divya Narendra. In 2004, the Winklevoss brothers sued Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, claiming he stole their ConnectU idea to create the popular social networking site Facebook. In addition to ConnectU, Winklevoss also co-founded the social media website Guest of a Guest with Rochelle Haruska. Forbes estimated that each twin has a cryptocurrency holding of $1.4 billion. Cameron Winklevoss was born in Southampton, New York, and raised in Greenwich, Connecticut. He is the son of Carol, Nee Leonard, and Howard Edward Winklevoss, Jr. Howard was an adjunct professor of actuarial science at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. At an early age, he, left-handed, and his identical mirror image twin brother, Tyler, right-handed, demonstrated a pattern of teamwork, building Lego together and playing musical instruments. At the age of 13, they taught themselves HTML, and started a web page company, which developed websites for businesses. Winklevoss went to the Greenwich Country Day School before attending Brunswick School for high school. He showed a fondness for the classics in high school, studying Latin and ancient Greek. During his junior year, he co-founded the crew program with Tyler. He enrolled at Harvard University in 2000, 
for his undergraduate studies, where he majored in economics, earning an AB degree and graduating in 2004. At Harvard, he was a member of the men's varsity crew, the Porcelain Club, and the Hasty Pudding Club. In 2009, Winklevoss entered the said business school at the University of Oxford, we obtained an MBA in 2010. While at Oxford, he was an Oxford Blue and rowed in a losing effort in the Blue Boat in the 156th Oxford-Cambridge Boat Race. Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss have made headlines on numerous occasions due to their connection with the crypto world. Even though the brothers have made a name for themselves after suing Mark Zuckerberg, the founder and CEO of Facebook, claiming that he stole their idea of a social network, Nowadays, the Winklevoss brothers are known as some of the biggest Ethereum investors. The lawsuit allowed the brothers to settle for a whopping $65 million of Facebook stock in cash. After seeing an opportunity in blockchain and crypto technology, they decided to invest in cryptocurrencies like Ethereum. The brothers ended up buying 120,000 coins when the price was less than very low. After their financial success, they reinvested in Ethereum and racked up around $350 million. Although the Winklevoss brothers have been investing in Bitcoin, BTC, and focus on this digital asset, they were also holding Ethereum. Tyler Winklevoss explained that initial coin offerings, ICOs, were not compliant with securities law, and that they are tokens on top of tokens. Regarding the value of the Ethereum network and its tokens, Mr. Winklevoss said that Ethereum's value lies in the network itself rather than on other digital tokens. At the moment, there is no clear information regarding the amount of ETH that they hold or whether they have decided to sell a part of their stake. Nonetheless, they will continue earning and playing an important role in the whole cryptocurrency market. That is how the brothers managed to make millions in the crypto world. Now let's have a look at the figures and graphs about Ethereum. If we look at the figures from the last 30 days, we can see that on October 31st, 2021, Ethereum's price was $4,256.58 and its 24 hours trading volume was 17.31 billion, while on November 30th, 2021, the price was $4,669.92, and the trading volume reached up to 24.22 billion. Looking at this chart, we can see a tremendous increase in the price and per day trading volume of Ethereum, which goes to show its success and proves that it is going to be the greatest cryptocurrency soon, leaving Bitcoin behind. We would like to mention that we don't give any financial advice and that this video is for educational use only. Always do your own research before you invest in anything. We would like to see you again in our following videos. Well, this was it for today, and thanks again for watching this video.